Hi, it's Alan Saunders here with Pittsburgh Sports Live at the Peterson Event Center where the Panthers just wrapped up a 78-43 victory over Maryland Eastern Shore. Again, it wasn't particularly close, uh, and but it was good for the Panthers to get back on the winning track as they went 15 days between victories. Of course, only lost two games in there. They had a week off, four finals, but an important victory just to put things behind them and to get back on track as they begin the stretch run of non-conference play before starting ACC play just after the first of the year. It was also good the way the Panthers won. They were able to get multiple contributions from several players, obviously regulars like Xavier Johnson and Jared Wilson frame, but they also got a big game from Terrell Brown who had 10 points off the bench. They got six points from Cam Davis. Shamil Stevenson. It was a deep effort from the Panthers and pretty much the kind of game you'd expect when playing a lesser talented opponent like the Hawks out of the MEAC, a uh, team that hasn't beaten a Division I opponent all season. Uh, Wilson Frame in particular scored 11 points. That's not out of the norm for him. It's actually just below his season average, but he had also had 11 rebounds for his first double-double of the season and uh, had three assists and no turnovers. And head coach Jeff Capel was impressed with his overall game and leadership in this one. So he, you know, his stat line at halftime was was really good. He had eight points and nine rebounds and three assists and no turnovers. Um, he, you know, and, and I thought the least impressive of it was the eight points. And that's one of the things that he does. I think Jared's a really good shooter when he has his feet set. Uh, but, you know, his rebounding, his assists, his playmaking, but more than anything, his voice. You know, he had an energy out there. And I thought he made the right play, the correct play the majority of the time. And so I, I was very, very impressed with him, you know, with that. Even in the second half, he could have hunted points, but I thought he continued to make the right play. And that's something we need everyone on our team to do. Leading the way statistically on offense for the Panthers was Johnson, who had 12 points. And again, that's right in line with his season contributions. In fact, it's sort of right in line with what he's done all year. He showed up every game. He's been Pitt's point guard since day one. And he's produced offensively in almost every circumstance. You know, He only took... Uh, six shots against the Hawks ends up with with 12 points anyway and uh, that's just the thing he's been doing that's been the most impressive is that he's been a game in and game out competitor for the Panthers as a freshman there's been no dips no bumps in the road and uh, 12 points is now his 11th straight game in double figures uh, I mean I just played play within the team uh, today I was, my, my job was just to make the score there's Gary but I was involved and my scoring came, came along after that consistency isn't something that most freshmen are really known for. How do you feel like you've been able to just have a, a steady impact on, on almost every game you've been in? Uh, my confidence. Uh, my confidence has been high every, almost every game. Uh, I mean, they, uh, my whole team just, they always just cheer me up. And when, when I'm down, you know, they try to keep me up and, and play the same way. I mentioned Shamil Stevenson. He played 11 minutes, tying his season high. Of course, that's probably going to be something that you're going to see more of going forward after the transfer of Peace Goma. Uh, Stevenson is the Panthers' really only other option at forward after Terrell Brown and Kenneth Chukwuka. He didn't play the five. He played the four alongside of one of those guys. But, you know, when the Panthers get into some of these ACC games and their bigs get into foul trouble, it looks like Stevenson is a player they're going to need. However, you know, Jeff Cable wasn't exactly – uh, forthcoming in what might be Stevens's future role with the team or if this extended playing time today had any meaning towards how much he's going to play the rest of the way. He played. He got more time today. So we'll see what happens going forward. With talking about him, talking about Cam, Terrell getting 10 points, knowing what's coming in ACC play, how much do you need those guys to be ready to contribute because of whether it's back-to-backs, foul trouble, that sort of thing? We need everyone. We need everyone ready to contribute. Uh, everyone ready to come to practice to get better every day and to work their butts off. And we need that every day. Again, we're trying to create habits. Uh, we're trying to create winning habits. And that's something that we as a program, we don't have that yet. And again, we're taking the right steps. But as all of us as adults know that are in here that are adults, uh, you know, you, 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 a habit is hard to break. And so if you can create really good habits, winning habits that's infectious, you know, in your program. And that's what we're trying to do. Uh, you know, were, uh, were you surprised at all, Jeff, by, you know, by Peace's transfer, by the timing of it, or was that some of you guys in chat talked about where you felt he might have better opportunities elsewhere? Was not surprised. I had not talked about it, but was not surprised. Um, very little surprises me. 
The Panthers' next game is right back here at the Peterson Event Center against New Orleans on December 20th, and then they'll wrap up non-conference play here with Colgate on December 29th before starting ACC play. Pittsburgh Sports Live will be there every step of the way. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm Alan Saunders with Pittsburgh Sports Live.